friends at Westside, and welcome to my home. I'm happy to be in your home this morning as we continue our reading plan through the, the, for the, through the book of Acts. I want to call it the Gospel of Acts because it really is the Gospel of Luke, part two. And this is an action-packed book. We're just three chapters in, and already so much is going on. And so today is no different. This, this chapter starts with an amazing story, and I want to read the story and then talk about it for a little bit. Um, one afternoon, Peter and John went to the temple for the three o'clock prayer. As they came to the entrance called the Beautiful Gate, they were captured by the sight of a man crippled from birth, being carried and placed at the entrance to the temple. He was often brought there to beg for money from those going in to worship. When he noticed Peter and John going into the temple, he begged them for money. Peter and John, looking straight into the eyes of the crippled man, said, Look at us. Expecting a gift, he readily gave them his attention. Then Peter said, I don't have money, but I'll give you this. By the power of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. Peter held out his right hand to the crippled man. As he pulled the man to his feet, suddenly power surged into his crippled feet and ankles. The man jumped up, stood there for a moment, stunned, and then began to walk around. As he went into the temple courts with Peter and John, he leapt for joy and shouted praises to God. When all the people saw him jumping up and down and heard him glorifying God, they realized it was the crippled beggar who had passed by. They had passed by in front of the beautiful gate. Astonishment swept over the crowd, for they were amazed over what had happened to him. I love this story, even just from the very first sentence. I love how it says, Peter and John went to the temple at three o'clock. It's like this is a real event that happened to real people at a real time. These people who once shared our planet are here living inside of this moment and they see this beggar who's been there probably every day of his, uh, of his adult life there. That's the only way he had to take care of himself. He lives in an era where there is no Medicare and there is no facility where he can go to be taken care of and all he can do is beg for his sustenance. And so he's been coming to the temple often. And you know who else has been coming to the temple often? Peter and John. And this day is significant. So they would have passed by this beggar countless times in, in the last years of their life. And yet this time is different. And you know what I think makes this time different? This time, Peter has no money. He has nothing to give him out of his pocket. And so he has to dig deeper and find a resource that's different and that's bigger and that's gonna be life-changing. And it really struck me this morning as I read this that we're living in this time where we're all watching the stock market and we're watching the economy and we're wondering about this crash and we're wondering how we'll survive it. And that a lack of money is never a problem statement in the Bible. It's never a problem. It's always a, a way for the Holy Spirit to enter in and do something bigger than we could have done had we been able to just toss a quarter in somebody's cup. And so my encouragement to you today is to just really look for people who need something from the resources that you can access. It doesn't have to be money. It can be something that God has put uniquely in you to give to your world. It can be approval or love or encouragement or any of the things that we all need to feel like we are seen and known and loved by God. So that's our devotion out of Acts 3 today. Tomorrow, join, I think, Pastor Steve for Acts 4. And keep with us through this reading plan through Acts. It's going to be great.